Hey guys, so we're on our way to Kitana's weekly vet appointment. So anyways, I will update you about everything when we get back home. Bye. Hey guys, so we're back home after taking Kitana to the vets. Unfortunately, because she's been wearing the bandages for quite a few months now, she has developed a bit of a pressure sore on her back left paw. And due to the prednisone, it's made her skin really thin and fragile. She's also losing quite a lot of fur. It's just getting really thin, especially on her stomach and her legs. So because of that, her skin being so fragile and constant pressure of the bandages, she's developed a pressure sore. So with that being said, I can't leave it uncovered because of her ulcers. If I was to leave it uncovered, there is a high risk of her licking it and then spreading the ulcer and getting bigger. Plus also a high risk of infections as she's had infections in the past, quite a few over the last few months because of her ulcers getting infected. And it's not even just um, because she's licked it or anything. It's just her body, her immunity is very low because of the prednisone, because it lowers the immunity in her body. So she's prone to getting quite a lot of infections. So her vet hasn't actually done her dressing. So I'll show you what they look like when we get inside. So with her prednisone update, we have managed to get her to 10 milligrams. Originally for the last four to five years, she has always been on 20 milligrams. So she's on half the dose, which is amazing. There is twice a week we can get her onto five milligrams, but she cannot do more than one day in a row with five milligrams. She has to have 10 the next day. So at the moment, we've only just done it twice a week. So like a Monday and a Friday or a Tuesday and a Thursday, just random days during the week so her body doesn't get used to it. I have tried before, her vet wanted to try and get her onto five milligrams. By the time she's on her second or third day, she's coughing, her allergies are all flaring up. So we can't get her onto the five milligrams daily. So um, that's all that's new with Kitana. Anyways, I'll show you what her dressings look like when we get inside. Bye! Hey guys, so today is Monday and we're on our way to Kitana's weekly vet appointment. Usually we have her appointments on Thursday, but her vet wasn't there, so we're seeing him today. Anyways, I will update you about everything when we get back home. Bye! Hey guys, so we're back home after taking Kitana to the vets. Unfortunately, this week she has developed another two ulcers. So on her back left paw where she had the pressure sore, it has developed into an ulcer. And on her front left paw, so imagine this is her paw, at the bottom she has developed another ulcer, most likely from the same thing happening with a pressure sore turning into an ulcer. Unfortunately, there's not much we can do. Her skin's just really fragile and thin and these ulcers just keep popping up. So her vet has recommended we try a new antibiotic. So she's going to be starting it when we get inside. So she's going to be on this one twice a day. It's an old fashioned antibiotic. I'm not too sure what it's called because I can't read the writing and I can't remember what he said it was. 
So she's going to be on this one and as I mentioned twice a day she's going to be on it as well as her regular antibiotics as well and on top of that he's trying an ointment. So he did her dressings today so I'm not going to be able to show you what they look like but with that being said most likely I'm going to have to do her dressing today or tomorrow or the next day because Kitana has been chewing off her bandages all the time. She's always chewing off the front one most of the time. I don't know if it's her stitches because they're dissolvable stitches and they're still in there. If they're irritating her or the new ulcer is irritating her but she just keeps chewing it off. She hasn't been chewing off the back one as much so I'm not too sure if this ointment's going to even help at all as if she chews off her bandage then I've got no ointment to put on it but if she keeps her back one on then we'll be able to see if it's working at all. Anyways her vet has asked to see her again this week so as I mentioned earlier today is Monday so her vet wants to see her in a few days time so we're gonna try and go see him on Thursday. So anyways I will update you about everything at her next appointment. Bye! Hey guys, so today is Thursday and we're on our way to Kitana's vet appointment. We did see him on Monday, but he wanted to see her today again just to see how the antibiotics is working. He put her on new antibiotics on Monday and wanted to see if the ointment is working as well. So anyways, I will update you about everything when we get back home. Bye! Hey guys, so I'm back home after Kitana's vet appointment. Unfortunately, I am home without her. She's having surgery once again. So this is surgery number five. Yes, I said that correctly. Debridement surgery number five. So as I mentioned on Monday, she developed another two ulcers. So the back left paw from the pressure injury turned into an ulcer. And on her front left paw, on the bottom, so imagine this is her foot, she has an ulcer down here. Most likely a pressure sore that turned into an ulcer as well. It has actually gotten worse since Monday and it's getting bigger. And because there's a lot of excessive amount of skin, her vet has recommended that we do a surgery today get it cut out as much as he can and stitch it together and hopefully it heals and also if there is any other ulcers that he can cut out any of the damaged tissue he's going to do that as well and this time he mentioned instead of using dissolvable stitches he's going to use regular stitches so that means after 14 days they have to come out they can't stay in and dissolve on its own like she's had in the past so that's what he's going to do this time just in case the dissolvable stitches are irritating her so that's the reason he's going to use regular stitches so anyways I will update you about her surgery when I pick her up anyways talk to you later bye hey guys so I just got a call from her vet everything went well with her surgery and I'm allowed to go pick her up so anyways I will update you about everything when we get back home bye Hey guys, so we're back home after picking up Kitana from her surgery. As I mentioned, everything went well with her surgery and I managed to speak to a vet surgeon. He said everything went well and he used regular stitches. So instead of using the dissolvable ones that he normally uses, these ones have to come out by day 14 at the latest. So he's not gonna see her next week for her weekly vet checkup. He's gonna see her in two weeks time on the day that it needs to come out, so on day 14. And he's gonna try and get 
get out as many as he can on the day and if she doesn't cooperate then I will be taking out the rest of them at home myself. So apart from that everything went well. He managed to take out some of the damaged tissues from the ulcers, from multiple ones, not just the one that was on her front left paw. And I'm just worried about her back one. He managed to stitch that together but there was a lot of tension when he put it together. So there is a good chance that one's going to rip apart once again. So hopefully it doesn't. I don't know what her ulcers look like right now or the stitches. So when I do her dressing next I'll be able to show you what they look like then. Apart from that I'm going to take her inside and let her rest and I will update you at her next appointment in 14 days. Um, but between that and now I will probably show you what her wounds look like when I do her next dressing change. Anyways I will talk to you later. Bye! Hey guys, so today is Thursday, day 14 post-up of Kitana's surgery. So she's getting her stitches removed and getting her wounds checked. So anyways, I will update you about everything when we get back home. Bye! Hey guys, so we're back home after Kitana's vet appointment. Unfortunately, on her back left paw, her stitches have pulled apart and opened up the wound once again. And this has happened about three times now that I can remember. After each surgery that she's had, her stitches just pull apart on her back left paw. I don't know if it's just not enough skin or when she's walking on it, causing pressure for it to rip apart. So that happened. Apart from that, all the rest of her paws are looking really good. A lot of her ulcers are healing really well so anyways I'm not going to be able to show you what her wounds look like today but I'll be able to show you what they look like when I do her dressing next anyways I better get her inside to rest and I will talk to you later bye Hey guys, so today is Thursday and we're on our way to Kitana's weekly vet appointment. So anyways, I will update you about everything when we get back home. Bye! Hey guys, so we're back home after Kitana's weekly vet checkup. So today she is three weeks post up from her last surgery, which was surgery number five for her debridement surgery. So her front left paw is looking really good to the point where maybe in the next couple of weeks she might not even need a bandage on at all. Her wounds, her ulcers are almost 90%, if not 100% better. 
there are a couple of them that just maybe need a couple of weeks to heal but apart from that most of them are completely intact to the point where we're just waiting for the fur to grow back and that may take some time because of the prednisone she's losing a lot of fur she's also got really fragile skin and very thin skin as well so we just have to make sure we watch over her so she doesn't get any new ulcers apart from that her back left paw is slowly healing from 100% where when the surgery site was done and it was stitched together and then it pulled apart and then from that imagine 100% is probably about maybe 20 to 30% better every time I open it up to do her dressings it looks so much better every time so I'm hoping she doesn't get another infection as um, we put her back on her regular antibiotics the new one that she was on and they were stopping the old one that's when she ended up up getting a bit of swelling and an infection so I've asked the vet if we can put her back on it it's a 10 day course but she's been on it for a good few months now so hopefully if this continues her ulcer might be um, healed within maybe a month or so so I'll show you what they look like at her next dressing change her vet did her bandages today so I won't be able to show it to you but the next time I have to do it most likely in about three or four days I'll show you what it looks like anyways I better get inside and let her rest so I will update you about everything at her next appointment bye Hey guys, so today is Thursday and we're on our way to Kitana's vet appointment. So Kitana is four weeks post-op from her last surgery. So anyways, I will update you about everything when we get back home. Bye! Hey guys, so we're back home after Kitana's vet checkup. So I have some amazing news. So this week Kitana has gotten no new ulcers, no pressure sores, no pressure injuries, nothing like that. Her front paw is looking amazing to the point where all her ulcers are intact there is no open wounds whatsoever so she doesn't need to have a bandage on that front left paw so she started off with three paws needing to be bandaged about three four months ago she's had ulcers for about five months now and as she started developing them she was getting new ones to the point where she needed three of her paws to be bandaged up and now she only has one paw that needs to be bandaged up her back left paw from her surgery after her stitches ripped apart it was looking really bad especially on the days that it was raining and her dressing was getting wet so I had to keep doing her dressing and since putting on that um that ointment that the vet gave me and the antibiotics that she's been on the new ones that they tried on her didn't work very well for her and I was worried about her getting off the other antibiotics if that was causing the infection and since she's gotten back on it her back left paw is looking amazing so from a hundred percent from what it looked like after surgery when it ripped apart to now it is about 50 percent better and if we still continue the way we're at it maybe in the next few weeks or a month or so maybe this one might be healed and she might not need another dressing at all and we just have to look after her make sure she doesn't get any more ulcers so apart from that everything is looking really good and i'm just hoping in a few weeks time or a month or so i'm going to be able to tell you that kitana is ulcer free apart from that i'm not going to be able to show you her back left paw because her vet has been doing her dressings for the last couple of weeks so anyways i'm going to show you what they look like when i do her dressing next anyways talk to you later bye
guys, today we're going to be going to Katana's weekly vet appointment and we'll see you when we get back. Bye! Hey guys, we just got back from Katana's weekly vet appointment and her wounds are looking great. So next week we're not going to be going because her vet's not going to be here. So in two weeks time we're going to be going and we'll update you later. Bye!